In this week's headlines, a Beverly Hills liposuction doctor has been using his patient's liposuction to power his car. Now, his patients say they're perfectly fine with this. But Forbes says in California, it's against the law to power a car vehicle with human fat. But what's funny is I could power a car with vegetable oil, but I can't do it with human fat. I could power my car with horse manure, but my neighbors can't complain. They'll just have to get used to that horse manure smell. In celebrity news, McDonald's employees are suing Lowy's restaurants because in Las Vegas they claim they got food poisoning at a restaurant. They were at their employees luncheon and the court papers say they were aged between 29 and 44 and probably haven't eaten ribs without the words Mick in front of them. You go to a nice steak restaurant, you're probably not planning on eating healthy. And I can just imagine a McDonald's employee picking their nose, not washing their hands, and then preparing people's food. Or I can imagine, I don't know why they'd be suing a steak restaurant. Because I could imagine eating at McDonald's and deciding, I'm going to play in the McDonald's play place and touch all the dirty surfaces that the other kids have touched. And now I'll proceed to stick my hand in my mouth. Oh. And let's hope I don't get sick in a couple days. Because if I do, I'm going to sue that McDonald's and claim that they don't keep their restaurants clean enough. This week in Stupid, a New York man has, has come out with a $30 bubble wrap calendar. He, he says it's the perfect gift for obsessive people. But be warned not to pop all the bubbles in one day. But I could just imagine someone like going, Arr! because who would want to receive a bubble wrap calendar as a Christmas present? This Week in Strange has been brought to you by Crazy Dudes on Skates.